Yeah, I'm gonna say this is gonna have some problems playing. Straight up, this is, this might skip. I got another Amazon custom return electronic palette video. So today, what I got for you is one large Amazon custom return mystery box that was on one wooden palette. Sometimes your liquidations could be a big, like a watermelon kind of a box in a palette. One huge box. It could be multiple boxes, and sometimes you pick it up and it's just a one large mystery box on one pallet, which is totally fine. More boxes doesn't actually mean better items. It could mean smaller items of better quality and value, you know? So, what we got today? Total MSRP, if everything was brand new on Amazon.com, but it's not, this is custom return, so you're gonna have used, damaged, salvage, uh, new factory package damage, and completely new. There's gonna be a variety of different kinds of conditions in this box. So the total MSRP is $1,321. That is if everything was brand new, but it's not, this is customer returns. You can pretty much take the MSRP, divide that in half, and that is more of a true possible value for your liquidation palette or boxes or box or whatever you wanna call it, you know what I'm saying? So. What I paid though was $191. So if it's about $13.21, then you could honestly say the value on this is probably between the honest, realistic value. Take it into consideration damage, used, salvage, and new, maybe as high as 700 in that range. Six, $700 is probably more realistic. So, hopefully, this is going to be a good one. I always have my hopes up high whenever I start. Sometimes it's fantastic. Sometimes it's mediocre. Sometimes it's really bad. Hopefully, this time, it's going to be another good one. Because the last electronics I did, uh, I got out a freaking MacBook Pro. Yes, it was older. After quite a bit of research, I realized that MacBook Pro was a 2012. Yeah, 2012. Still haven't gotten a charger for it yet to see if it works or not. That was from earlier this past week. That video went up. So if you haven't seen it, uh, check it out after this one. But uh, it it was a pretty good palette. It wasn't bad, it wasn't bad. So here we go. Hopefully this has some awesome stuff in it. Hopefully, I'm gonna try not not to peek. Last time, uh, electronics, I looked in the box and right on top of it was a MacBook Pro. It was just staring at me. So I'm gonna attempt to try not to look into the box. As, you know, try to look in as least as possible just because whenever you look in, you see the big ticket item right on top, it kind of, you know, it's, it's fun, but I don't wanna get the best thing out the first thing, you know? There we go. Reached in. First thing I pulled out was a Mediasonic digital converter box. Enjoy more digital TV programs. So just a digital converter box. Uh, I think these are like, what, 20 bucks or so. They're not very expensive. This one is still factory sealed. So 20, actually probably like 20 to $30 in that range for that. Not bad. Not bad. Try not to look down. This looks like a TV antenna. Yep, TV antenna to bring in your local stations. So we got a TV antenna and a digital converter box. So the antennas, you can sell antennas between $10, $15, depending on like the strength of it. Usually how I sell those. Next, guess what? Another TV antenna. Okay, let's go back in. Uh, this box, Oh, cool. We have Xbox wireless controller. This is for the Xbox One, correct? Has to be. It's not factory sealed. It's been retaped by somebody. So we can just, you know, we can cut like the retape job. And there it is. 
Xbox One controller, condition, really good. I say this thing would be like 9 out of 10 condition, very, very little wear on it, very, very lightly used. That's a good item. That's probably good, honestly, 30 bucks right there. I've sold these between 30 and 40 bucks, uh, around 30-ish, you know what I'm saying? Next. Oh, awesome. Cool. A Zag book. These sell for usually about 100 bucks a piece. Uh, depending on condition, of course. Trying to not look, look in that box. I want to keep it a mystery for myself. Oh, nice. This still looks factory packaged. Nice. Let me look this thing up. Let's see how much this costs. Okay, I think I found it. This thing has been kind of a pain to butt to find. Everything I searched for on Amazon is pulling up different models, different kinds, some detachable backlit. I think I found it. It's normally $149.99, but right now it's on a extreme drastic sale, Amazon.com. Right now it's on sale for $79.95. So that is, wow, that's a huge drop in price. So. That kind of stinks. But hopefully it goes back up in price. And I honestly, I will not be selling this anytime soon because price on this should go back up. Hopefully, maybe. Because these were pulling between 80 to 100 bucks um, in like new condition. You know, if they're selling new for 150, 130, 100 bucks all day long, but on sale for 80? Wow. If it stays down that low, I'll probably get like 50, 60 bucks for this thing. But I'm going to play the waiting game, wait till Christmas time, and hopefully get about 80 bucks for this case. Hopefully. Next. Oh, is that the same one? Yes, that is the exact same one. Yeah. So in this box, two of them. So hopefully... Like I said, 80 bucks a piece, hopefully, coming soon. What is this thing? That feels different. Gaming headset, green. So we got an Amazon Basics branded headset, looks like for the Xbox One, Amazon brand, you know, 20 bucks or so. Not super expensive. A lot of the Amazon branded stuff, you know, you can't get big bucks for it or anything. Let's see what's this. I have no clue. Voice data video cable mapper and tester? I've never seen anything like this before. I gotta look, look this thing up, got no choice. Yeah, this is cool. This sells on Amazon new for $83.99. So 84 bucks. This is open package item. Uh, I don't see any like wear and tear on this. It looks pretty good. This sells new for 84 bucks. Open package item. I'm gonna probably ask 60 for it. See if I can get 60. It still has the film on the actual face of it, like the the protective film. I'll probably try to I'll probably try to ask about sixty for that. Let's see if I can get sixty. Hope hopefully I can. Oh, cool! Vidbox video conversion suite. These sell pretty well. I've had these in the past. Prices on these have fluctuated. They've gone down. Last time I sold one, I think it was like forty bucks, maybe. I could be wrong on that. Yeah, yeah. It sells new for sixty-four. So. An open box item, possibly used, about 40 bucks, yeah. That's that's what I thought, but yeah, the last one I had of this, I sold, is for around 40 bucks used, is actually how much I got for, so I'll ask the same price again, about 40 bucks, and uh, hopefully I can get the same price for that again. Uh, we've got a first um, micro USB cord. Amazon Bay. Oh, these are little uh, little speakers. Very small computer speakers. Just plug them into your laptop or your cell phone if you want to. Little cheapy things. We have a thing of one one when me watercolor brush pens. 
Appeared to be new in the package. Some of this art stuff can get kind of expensive too, but yeah. Decent item, right? There's a big, oh, here in the corner, like a big box. Oh, this is, this could have some value to it. Pile Series Premier Wireless Microphone System. What's it look like? Okay. Microphone system, we got the mic, we've got the wireless mic. Below that, looks like we got the other accessories, the other parts are in that, the main unit. Looks like it's all there. Now the question is, what does this sell for? I know a lot of people don't really like Pile Electronics. They've had lots of bad experiences in the past with them. Sometimes it's just items that don't work very long or customer service issues. I personally, as a reseller, I've had a lot of luck selling Pile equipment for years now. I've never had a problem. Um, and most of the stuff I get in liquidation, the items work just fine. So, personally, as first-hand experience, I don't have a problem with Pile. It's not the highest quality stuff, but, I mean, it's not bad. Wireless Bluetooth. Now, now you got to get down to the point of actually finding the correct item. Because there's so many different variations for some of this stuff. Okay, there it is. $74.99. So that's not bad. $75. Looks to be like new condition. Just open box item. It's got the original box for it. $75. I'll probably ask 50 for it maybe as high as 60 you know see if i can get that much for it i don't see why i couldn't here's some small items oh i'll come out once apex rc products banana mini tamiya charge lee two pack new in the package some of this rc stuff you can get like uppers of like 10 bucks a piece for them we got a charging cable glass screen iphone 876 Here we have music speakers, AV surround tuner amplifier. Brand is just hi-fi. It feels really, really cheap. You probably can't really see it that well. I don't want to take it out of the package because there are some cords in here for it. I don't want to lose the cords. But, you know, honestly, it's probably 20, 30 bucks. Not, not that much. Okay, next some small things again. Oh, two iPhone cords. <laughs> Apex, or Apex, Avery paper. Oh, we got a record. Meridian Energy Acupuncture Pin. I'll take some research, but it's probably not, not that expensive. Then we have a record. Looks like this might be kind of damaged. It is Tillian the Skeptic. Never heard of Tillian the Skeptic, but I'm skeptical. Oh man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say this is gonna have some problems playing. Straight up, this is. This might skip. So. uh I won't be selling this because people do not like it whenever their music skips. You know, it can be frustrating for for the listener. Next, what's this? Feels different. Oh, I've had this. What? This has like all kinds of black powdery crud all over it. Nah. Nah. So, right in the package, we got a Micromix MX400. I think I actually have one of these for sale right now already. And I don't remember what I'm even asking for it. Let me figure it out. Hold on. So, sells new for 
I always try to beat Amazon prices on stuff, so like 20 bucks. And then batteries. Awesome. We got some beats. But are they counterfeit or not? There's a lot of counterfeit counterfeit beats on the market. Hold on. Before we get too excited, let me check these things out a little bit closer. See if these things are authentic or if they're counterfeit. Okay, packaging is uh could be a little better. Case. Okay, this is where I look very closely at some of this stuff for signs of counterfeit product. Cause like, well, a lot of people like to do is uh, buy the authentic stuff, and then you know that's expensive. Go onto many online websites, pretty easy to find sites. You can you can buy these counterfeit beats for as low as like 25, 30 bucks, and then they swap them out. Okay, they're authentic. They're actually authentic, but they're very used. They're very used. They're not new whatsoever. But yeah, these check out. These actually are authentic. And uh, they're very used, though. Um, at least the case is nice for it still. Let me actually look these things up. Is there a charging cord for it? No, no charging cord. But it just takes a basic uh, micro USB. Oh, uh, yep. Or USB. Oh, but it actually does have a little charge to it. Huh. You know what? Let's try these out. Well, um, I was trying to pull up my Bluetooth and they already died. So these are these are going to need a charge before I try to connect to anything. But let me try to find price. Okay, so these uh, are on sale Amazon new for $139.99. So they're not super expensive or anything. This looks like it's probably an older model too. Looks like it. So sales new for one, 140. And these Beats Solo 3 Wireless, um, not verified that they actually work yet though. They sell new for 140. I'll I'll try to get like half. I'll try to get like 70 bucks for them. You know, I'll try, but no guarantee. But I mean, that's not a bad item. It's very, very used, but we got some beats. So that's not that bad. I'll have to work with this thing later, get it back into the box all nice and pretty, but that's not bad, about 70 bucks. But on the MSRP, what they actually do for these pallets is they actually, if the normal price of this thing was $2.99, that's actually the price that they would use on, on like the MSRP would be the full price of when it first came out. So the value of this was $13.21. So it would have valued those beats at $2.99, even though it hasn't been that price for probably quite a while. It's been like, you know, $150, $140. So liquidations always like to use the original manufacturer's suggest retail price, which is always going to be the highest price possible. Um, it, I mean, that's not wrong to do it that way. That's not wrong. That's just the, the original MSRP of the item, you know? So, yeah. A little more knowledge, you know, just talking. Multifunction tailgate converter. Okay. No idea of value, but it can't be that much. We're getting down to the nit and gritty. I want to look to see Okay, we got a bunch of small stuff in here. A smart TV box. This is probably like a cheaper, kind of like a Roku kind of a thing, I bet. You know, like 20 bucks on that. Let's see, I'm going to look now and peek. 
i6 Apple Watch charging dock mobile phone holder. Still factory seal too. Has not been opened up yet. That's neat. That's probably good 20 bucks. We pull out some of the small stuff. A lot of small loose stuff in here. Okay, we've got Galaxy S8 Plus casemate case. We've got some Bluetooth headphones. What's the brand? There's no brand on it. Probably Amazon Basics brand or something. So like, you know, 10 bucks or so. Two iPhone cords. It is a pair of just like cheapy earbuds. HDMI. Ooh, very, very used cases for uh, Apple Watch. Like, they're yellow. They've been extremely used. Converter, let's see. Waterproof case, 42 millimeter for Apple Watch Series 3. That's kind of nice. That's probably a good 20, 30 bucks on that. You know, I'll check it out later. Let's see what else we got. Pass and Seymour, fast charge USB, little trinket, iPhone X life proof case. That's a good 25, 30 bucks on that. It's nice. My table's getting full. This is electronics, but we got, oh, it, just, it looked kind of like, like a, a handle for like a cabinet or something, but magnetic mobile device thing let's see rave power this will be a wireless charger for your wireless devices iphone cord big first grade <laughs> school book very used very destroyed linear polarization sheet i just Here's just some junk. Okay, I got it. Yeah. We're getting down to the bottom. Lots of, all the big stuff was all on top. Okay, we've got, oh, looks like a Apple Watch replacement band. We got some pins. Alpha glass for a Samsung S8. We've got a Samsung charging cord. Phone case that's kind of fancy looking. Travel adapter. iPhone cord. Hard carrying case for a five inch GPS black. Pretty much it's just a universal carrying case for some small electronic item, really. We got five, six things left. Got a thing of pins. Amazon, it's a skin for an Echo. Some adapters to use your headphones with your iPhone. HDMI cord. Last two things. Okay, we've got, it looks like a replacement for a phone. And that's also damaged too. I think it's cracked. There's loose glass inside of this, so pitch that. Then we have an Expo, a whole box of dry erase pens. And that's it, that's what we got. That is the entire box, MSRP of 1321. Best item in terms of value. Our original value would be those beats were the best item, but then we also had a pile uh, wireless or something, microphone system, several items. We had an Xbox One controller. We had several items in like the $30, $40 range, quite a few. So it wasn't bad. There was a lot of, towards the end, I should say, the last half, there were lots of just smaller stuff. And a lot of the small stuff, I mean, you can sell it locally pretty cheaply at several kinds of ways of selling uh big stuff it's almost christmas time it'll move so the beats headphones i have to charge those things up see if they work they're extremely used
So I'm going to try to go half price on them, see if I can get half. I mean, if they don't work, if one side doesn't work, then obviously that's going to hurt the bottom line in the long run. But that's all part of the liquidation game. Sometimes you get brand new beats. Sometimes you get used beats. This time we got some used beats. So it's okay, though. Uh, still only paid 191 bucks. So this still will be profitable. I'll still make money on this pallet box. So that's the whole point of liquidation pallet flipping. So you know what? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.